2024 has been a year of astronomical marvels. Solar storms painted our skies with vibrant auroras. The Starship booster made history with a successful capture on its very first attempt. And a naked eye comet graced skies in the Northern Hemisphere for the first time in nearly three decades. And all of this happened within a two week period in October. Space is back in the spotlight, capturing the imagination of students across the nation. At Mount Carmel area, we're channeling this enthusiasm through a piece of timeless technology that has been inspiring minds since the Apollo era. Even in today's digital age, our traditional planetarium projector continues to bring the universe into focus and connect students to the wonders of space, just as it did nearly 50 years ago. This is the Spitz A3P Mechanical Planetarium Projector. It's one of over a thousand A3Ps produced and sold to schools and universities. First debuting in the 1960s, it's become the most popular commercial planetarium projector in the world. Unlike more modern digital systems, this projector relies on intricate mechanics to simulate the night sky in stunning detail. It can model Earth's rotation, revolution, and precession. We can adjust our viewing direction and latitude, cycle through the phases of the moon, and track the annual motion of the stars and planets. With the turn of a few dials, the dome transforms into a dynamic coordinate system, allowing us to locate celestial objects. For its time, this was an incredibly advanced piece of technology, and even today, its precision engineering continues to amaze me. In a digital age, students are still captivated by its ingenuity and nostalgic charm. Of all the lessons I've taught, nothing compares to the moment when students look up and see the star dome for the very first time. Thousands of twinkling lights dancing in a cosmic rhythm, the vastness of the universe comes to life above you inspiring awe and curiosity with every glance. You begin to realize just how small and inconsequential the Earth is in the grand scheme of things. But our planetarium sessions involve more than just stargazing. It also includes interactive learning experiences. Using a variety of digital resources, we project stunning visuals of the cosmos on our 24-foot dome in full HD, providing engaging commentary to deepen students' understanding of the universe. Our planetarium has been an incredibly useful tool for students over the last few decades, but it is starting to show some signs of age. Over the last few years, we've encountered several major mechanical issues that remind us that just like the cosmos, nothing can last forever. In 2019, an electrical fault shut down over half of its functions until a suitable replacement component could be found. The sad reality is that like most intricate mechanical systems, it only takes the failure of one critical component to shut the entire system down. In many ways, our planetarium is operating like the Voyager spacecraft, ironically launched the same year that our high school opened. Some of its instruments are no longer functional and others are limited, but it keeps going and its core mission remains the same to educate us and remind us that even aging technology can have a profound impact. But like Voyager, we know that its operational life will eventually come to an end. Despite careful routine maintenance, this remarkable feat of engineering cannot last forever. The arc bulb that powers the projector has already surpassed its expected lifespan by hundreds of hours. And the same is true for our spare. Eventually, these will fail and finding original replacements is nearly impossible. One option for the short term is to upgrade to LED bulbs, which will improve the efficiency of the system and possibly extend its life. But in the long term, even those won't be enough. One major mechanical issue will stop this machine in its tracks. As our planetarium continues to age, we understand that a decision will inevitably have to be made whether or not to upgrade to a digital projector to preserve the virtual cosmos for future generations of students. While the A3P has served us well for almost half a century, it's become increasingly difficult to maintain, and eventually it will no longer be viable to do so. To ensure that we can continue inspiring students with the wonders of the universe, an upgrade to a new digital system may be necessary. This transition would come with a significant financial cost. 
but doing so would not only ensure the longevity of our planetarium, but also open up new possibilities for immersive learning experiences, keeping our connection to the stars alive for years to come. In an age of incredible advancements in space exploration, we remain connected to our roots. Our planetarium may be a product of the Apollo era, but its purpose is timeless, to inspire, to educate, and to ignite wonder about the universe. Humans have always been captivated by the mysteries of the cosmos, and it's vital that we preserve the same passion for the stars while laying a foundation for the future.